Hi everybody, this is Art at NASAMPS. Today we're going to show how to remove and replace tubes in the uh, amplifiers. We're going to be starting with the combo and then going into a head unit. First thing you want to do is make sure that you have a surface that is has something like this. This is carpeting. You can put a really nice fat towel on. We want to be able to protect whatever table you're going to put the amp on and also to protect the tollex of the unit itself. So now let me get the amplifier and we're going to use this as our first example. First thing we want to do is get it turned around of course. And what I like to do is since we're going to actually take the amp out, although that's not required, I want to place it on its side. I personally like to use an electric drill that's got torque uh, control on it so that when we put the screws back we don't over torque them. Use slow speed. Take the four screws out. Take the back off. Unplug the speaker from the amplifier. We have two wing nuts that we're going to take out. Now that we have the amp out, it would normally be in this position sideways to work on to either change or take out the tubes and put them back in. But again, I want to show you the detail as to why we have to be careful about taking tubes out and putting tubes back in. So if we look at the tubes that are in here, this is our power tube and this is our preamp tube. And to take a tube out, I realize you may have cases where they might be really hot. So make sure that you use a glove or a, uh, a, a, a towel of some kind that's not wet. Grab the tube and rotate slightly and it pops right out. Grab the tube and rotate slightly and pop it out. Now as you can see in the tube socket, on the power tube there is a key right here. We have to make sure that the power tube key lines up with that, otherwise it's possible to break off the key from the power tube and it gets stuck in here and that causes other problems. The small tube it's not keyed, but the pins, there's a missing pin right here, so it's, it's phased, so it only goes in one way. It's keyed, but only because there's a missing pin here. And I'll show you the tubes. Here's the power tube, and you should be able to see the, uh, the key pin right here. And here's the preamp tube, and you should be able to see the missing pin right here. So now, what we want to do is make sure that the pin here in the tube lines up with the key in the socket. And so what we try to do is we put the, we can put the tube in any which way and just rotate it slowly. Don't push down on it very hard, just so it stays in place until it drops and then rotate it in. Let me show you that again. We place the tube on the top of the socket and we rotate it until it drops in. Another way is to try to remember where the key is. It's right here. When you grab the tube, put your finger where the key is and then place the tube such that your finger and the key line up especially if you're at a gig and it's dark and you can't see what you're doing and everybody's upside down. That's one of the problems with uh, trying to do a combo when you're in a rush. If you, get, if, you, if you try to put this in too fast and you break the center pin off, it gets real ugly after that. There is a, a procedure, it's not that hard, but you do have to take the amp out to get that center pin out. The uh, preamp tube is the same way. We can put our finger where the missing pin is and line it up with the socket. This, this one's actually a little bit harder because the pins are smaller 
and it's hard to turn around and get it to drop in. So it's a little bit better to try to get these pins, the missing pin, into where it belongs and then rotate it down. And now you've got the tubes in their sockets. They're firmly in place. And for the purists out there, what you want to do after this is get a rag with some Windex on there and clean off the glass, get your fingerprints and oil off of both tubes, and that'll give you a bit longer life out of the tubes. To put the amplifier back in, we turn it sideways, place it in here. Can you see everything, Joe? Yeah. Place it in. Put one of the screws from the top, line up with the slot in the amplifier. We have some long slots on both sides. Line the screw up, put it in, it should come out on the other side. That gets one in, and the bottom one should slide right in. Get it to go in there. Take one of your wing nuts, get it started. Don't tighten it up too much just yet. Get the top one in. Get it started, get it down there. Make sure the amp is all the way against the front by pushing it on the back. Try not to push on the transformer. It can take it, but it's best to push on the chassis itself. Take your driller screwdriver, and you want to have it make it sure it's set to like one foot-pound. Don't go any higher than that, one foot-pound, and tighten down the screws. Next, make sure that you connect your uh, speaker wire. This goes into, from an 8 ohm speaker, it goes into the 8 ohm output. Put the back on. Make sure it's pushed this way as far as you can go. Keep the uh, drill set at one foot pound. You don't want to over torque these. And that completes taking tubes out and putting tubes back in. Next we're going to do a head unit. So here we have a head unit that we're going to change the tubes out in. Now this one, we're, we, we have to take the back off. We get our screwdriver. Now we've got the back off and we can see the two tubes inside. We're going to take them out. You know, gently rotate and pull out. And then we're going to take the power tube and put it back in first. And again, you can either try to align the pin with the socket. Remember the, the socket and the pin is over here. So you can put your finger on here and try to align it. Or you can place it in here and gently turn it until it drops in place and then rotate it down. The preamp tube again is a little bit more difficult so we like to try to get it as close as we can to begin with. So we put our finger in where the missing pin is and remember the missing pin is over in this area. We place it in here So it seats itself. Best if I go from this side. And we rotate.
rotate it and then it goes and we're done putting the tubes back in so again let's try it again from this angle rotate the tubes out rotate the tube out and it doesn't matter which order you put them back in we'll put the preamp tube back in first here's the missing pin we can see about where it's at try to align up the pins rotate it in take the power tube place it in yeah, I got it right the first time rotate it in and we've got that finished the last thing is to put the back back on place it on make sure that we have our drill set to one foot pound and bring the screws down And there we have it. Back together, ready to go. Anybody has any questions about how to do that or has any problems, please feel free to give me a call at 480-981-9114. Between the hours of 8 a.m. and 11 p.m., seven days a week, Arizona time. We're always here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.